Specifically, regarding the question about debt reduction while continuing to invest in things like community policing, new fire trucks, library funding, and more, the good news is you don't have to look at a potential plan that I'm putting forward. You can simply look to what I've already been doing as a leader in this town. Since being elected to the council, we've reduced our debt by over $60 million by implementing a debt reduction plan that eliminates $2 of debt for every dollar we add. By our council taking this step and others, we've seen our bond rating go from AA- to AAA+, the highest achievable rating. And we've helped to reverse a trend that had been moving in the wrong direction previously. Because of our better rating, and therefore our ability to borrow new dollars at a lower rate, we've been able to save millions of dollars in interest payments. We've then taken those dollars and specifically invested them in our community. I'm happy to have led for a push to increase our yearly tree plantings, helping to keep Montclair the green township that we are known for. We've used those dollars to replace sewer lines that were not changed or upgraded for over 100 years. We brought back the community policing program designed to have the first experience our residents have with an officer be a positive one. Despite the fact that each of these priorities has required us to spend more dollars, we've been able to put forward a municipal budget for a number of years that has had a 0% increase and an average of about 1% for the time I've been in office. So reducing debt does not come at the expense of investing in what you believe in. It specifically helps you to put more dollars into the programs you care about most.